Hello, in this tutorial um, we'll be working with keyboard events in JavaScript. In some of the earlier JavaScript tutorials we looked at using onClick and onMouseOver events to call a function when a user clicked or rolled their mouse over a button. And we also used the onload event to start an animation when a page is loaded. We, so we can use mouse events to run a set of instructions or call a function when a mouse button has been clicked. But we can also use keyboard events um, to detect when a key has been pressed or what key has been pressed on the keyboard. And there are three different types of keyboard events that we'll look at. We'll look at key down, key press, and key up. Okay, a key down event is triggered when a button on the keyboard has been pressed down. A key up event is triggered when a button um, that has been pressed on the keyboard is released. Okay, and these two, key down and key up, these two events use key codes to represent the many different letters, numbers, and other keys that are available on the keyboard. So a key code is just a number that represents a key on the keyboard. And a key code is returned to the program when a button has been pressed. A key press event, on the other hand, is only triggered when you click on a key that represents a character. So it has to represent a character, such as a letter or a number or a punctuation mark. And a key press event will tell the program what character the key represents, while the key down and the key up events only tell the program what key has been pressed or released. Okay, so um, the key down and the key up events, they only trigger once when a key is pressed, um, and another thing to note is that key codes return a number which represents a key pressed and they work with key down and key up events only while ASCII key codes um, or as, uh, ASCII key codes return an ASCII code and work with key press events only. So if you're using a key down or key up event you use key codes. If you're using a key press event you use ASCII key codes. All right. So um, what we're going to do now is we'll make a small little program which will basically check um, to see if the A letter key on the keyboard has been pressed. And if it's been pressed, it will just display a simple alert message. Now, I know that the letter A on the keyboard is represented by the key code of 65. Now I can find that out by just searching on Google for key codes and you can get here a table of different key codes. So I've got all the different keys on the keyboard, letters and numbers and if I look for A I can see it has a key code of 65. Okay. So have a look on Google and you'll find lots of um, lists there for key codes like these. And you'll also find lists for the, um, the ASCII key codes. All right, so if I go back to my text editor and in my script section, I'll start typing the code. So I'm going to add an event listener. Oops. Okay, so window.add event listener. And inside this add event listener, I'm going to have, have three different sections. So key down, which is the event that I'm using, so key down in quotation marks, separated by commas, check key press, which is the function that I'm going to, um, function that I'm going to um, use, I'm about to make, and false as well. So it's not returning anything to the program. All right, end that with a semicolon, and then create the function which is called check key press. Okay, in brackets I'm going to use a placeholder so just make up a, a letter or a word. I'm going to use key. You could do anything. You could do E for event. Um, but I'm going to use key. Okay. And then curly brackets there for the function code. Alright, inside this function I'm going to have an if statement. So if key dot key code, and code has a capital C, is equal to 
65 in quotation marks, then display an alert message. Alert the A letter key has been pressed. Okay, and that's it. That's all the code. So we've got an event listener here that checks for, um, it has a key down event and then it runs the check key press function. And in the check key press function, it's checking to see if the letter A key has been pressed by um, seeing if the key code is equal to 65, which represents the letter A. All right, so save that, test it in the browser. All right, now I'm going to press a few different keys on the keyboard. I'm going to press B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Nothing happens. If I press A, I get an alert message. So it says the A letter key has been pressed. So that works. Now if we go back to the code, we might want to um, change this to key up. Test that, save it, and open that in the browser. Now I'm going to press um, A, All right? I haven't let go yet. I'm holding down the A button and now I'll release it and I'll get the alert message. So that only occurs, it's only triggered once the button has been released. All right, now this time I'm going to check to see if a capital A or uppercase A has been pressed. So by holding down the shift key and the A key together. So I can't use key down or key up for that. I need to use key press. But I also need to use a different key code. I need to use the ASCII key code for a, an uppercase letter A, which happens to be 97, I think. So I'll save that and check. Open that in the browser. All right, now if I press the letter A, oops. Let's go back and have a look at the code. Got key press, got 97. Okay, so, sorry, 97 is the ASCII key code for lowercase a, if you're using key press. 65 is the key code, the ASCII key code for an uppercase a. So, I'm gonna press a, Nothing happens if I hold down shift and A, then I get the alert message. So just to distinguish there, if you're using key press and the key code is 65, then 65 is the ASCII key code for an uppercase letter A. So you have to hold down shift and A keys together. But if you want to check for a lowercase um, A in using a key press event and an ASCII, key code, then lowercase is represented by 97. Okay, so that's basically how to um, use keyboard events um, using HTML and JavaScript. Just take note um, that not all browsers support um, certain keys. So some browsers might not um, support or recognize when you've pressed the up, down, left or right um, arrow direction keys on your keypad. Um, so if you wanted to make, for example, a game where the user can, can control a character and move them around, then you might want to use the WASD keys instead of the uh, arrow keys on the keyboard. Okay. Um, make sure you check out the sample code and um, also check the links um, to set see the different key codes and the different ASCII key codes that you can use. Thanks for watching.